Imagine a train. Not just any train, mind you, but one that doubles its speed every few seconds. It started slow, almost imperceptible. But now, now it's a blur, a whirlwind of momentum hurtling towards a destination we can barely comprehend. That, my friends, is the essence of technological progress. And the singularity? Well, that's the moment this runaway train blasts off the tracks and into a whole new dimension of existence. We live in an age where our smartphones hold more computing power than the Apollo missions, where artificial intelligence is no longer confined to science fiction, but is writing our emails and composing symphonies. The pace of change is dizzying, exhilarating, and, let's be honest, a tad terrifying. But here's the kicker, it's only going to get faster. The singularity posits a future where technological growth becomes uncontrollable, leading to unimaginable advancements in artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, and perhaps even the very fabric of reality itself. Buckle up, folks, because things are about to get really weird. OK, so we've established that the singularity involves a whole lot of fast and a dash of woe. But what does it actually mean? Well, that's where things get a little fuzzy. You see, the singularity isn't your typical Tuesday afternoon prediction. It's less about pinpointing a date on the calendar and more about understanding a trajectory, a point in time where our current models of understanding simply break down. Imagine a moment when our technological growth becomes so rapid and profound that it fundamentally changes the way we live, think, and interact with the world around us. Think of it like this. Imagine trying to explain the concept of the internet to a Neanderthal. You could try to describe the vast networks, the instant communication, the cat videos, but would they truly grasp the sheer magnitude of it all? Probably not. And that's the challenge with defining the singularity. We're trying to wrap our finite minds around a concept that, by its very nature, transcends the limits of our current comprehension. Some envision it as the moment artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence, leading to a rapid cascade of technological advancements that reshape the very foundations of our world. Others believe it signifies a merging of human consciousness with technology, a transcendence of our biological limitations into a new era of digital enlightenment, or perhaps digital oblivion, depending on your perspective. But let's dive deeper. The singularity could also mean the point where we achieve a level of technological sophistication that allows us to solve some of humanity's most pressing problems. Imagine eradicating diseases, ending poverty, or even reversing climate change. The possibilities are as vast as the universe itself. However, with great power comes great responsibility. The singularity could also bring about challenges and ethical dilemmas we've never faced before. How do we ensure that such powerful technologies are used for the greater good? Who gets to decide what the greater good is? And then there's the question of control. If artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence, who's really in charge? Will we be able to control these superintelligent entities or will they control us? These are questions that keep scientists ethicists and futurists up at night. The singularity isn't just a technological milestone, it's a philosophical and existential one as well. It forces us to confront what it means to be human in an age where the lines between man and machine blur. So as we hurtle towards this uncertain future, it's crucial to engage in thoughtful discussions and debates about the implications of the singularity, 
we must prepare not just technologically, but also socially, ethically, and philosophically. The singularity could be a dawn of unprecedented progress or a precipice of unforeseen challenges. Either way, it's a journey that will redefine our place in the cosmos. So, buckle up and keep your eyes on the stars, because the singularity is not just a destination, it's an adventure into the unknown. Or perhaps digital oblivion, depending on your perspective. Hold on to your hats, because things are about to get cosmic. We are on the brink of a potential revolution in our understanding of the universe, one that could fundamentally alter the way we perceive reality. If the singularity does indeed unfold, its effects might not be limited to our little planet. The ripple effects could extend far beyond Earth, influencing the very fabric of the cosmos. Some physicists theorize that sufficiently advanced civilizations could potentially manipulate the very laws of physics themselves. Imagine a society so advanced that they can bend the rules of the universe to their will. We're talking about harnessing the power of black holes, creating wormholes, maybe even messing around with the speed of light. These are not just wild fantasies, but plausible scenarios that could redefine our place in the universe. Now I know what you're thinking. Neil, isn't that getting a bit far-fetched? It sounds like something straight out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? And you're not entirely wrong. These ideas are highly speculative, bordering on the realm of science fiction. But remember, many concepts that were once considered science fiction are now part of our everyday reality. But that's the beauty of the singularity. It forces us to confront the limits of our current understanding and to consider possibilities that might seem utterly outlandish today, but could become commonplace tomorrow. It's a humbling reminder of how much we still have to learn. Imagine a universe where energy is readily available, where interstellar travel is as simple as hopping on a cosmic subway, where the limitations of space and time are mere inconveniences to be overcome. This could be the reality of a post-singularity world, it's a mind-boggling prospect, one that challenges our deepest assumptions about the nature of reality itself. The implications are profound, not just for science, but for philosophy, ethics, and our understanding of what it means to be human. Picture a world where technology has advanced to such an extent that diseases are eradicated, aging is reversed, and human potential is limitless. This is not just a dream, but a potential future that the singularity could bring about. Scientists and researchers around the globe are working tirelessly to unlock these secrets. They are pushing the boundaries of what we know, venturing into uncharted territories that could one day lead to these incredible advancements. Educational institutions and research labs are becoming the breeding grounds for these revolutionary ideas. Young minds are being inspired to think beyond the conventional, to challenge the status quo, and to dream big. In classrooms of the future, Students might learn about these concepts as part of their standard curriculum. What seems like science fiction to us could be basic science to them. As we look to the stars, we are reminded of our place in the universe and the endless possibilities that lie ahead. The singularity could be the key to unlocking a future that is beyond our wildest dreams. So, will physics get a reboot? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, the journey to find out will be an adventure like no other. Let's bring it back down to Earth for a moment, shall we? The concept of the singularity often feels like a distant, almost science fictional event, but its implications are much closer to home than we might think. While the singularity might have mind-bending implications for the cosmos, its most immediate impact will be felt right here at home, on humanity itself. This isn't just about far-off galaxies or abstract theories. It's about the very fabric of our daily lives and how we interact with the world around us. As technology advances at an exponential rate, we're approaching a crossroads. This isn't a gradual change, it's a rapid acceleration that's pushing us towards decisions that could redefine what it means to be human. On one hand, we have the potential to enhance our abilities, to eradicate disease, to extend our lifespans, essentially upgrading ourselves into a new species of superhumans. Imagine a world where genetic disorders are a thing of the past, where aging is slowed or even reversed, and where our physical and mental capabilities are vastly improved. Imagine a world where disabilities are a thing of the past, where our minds are augmented with instant access to the sum total of human knowledge, where we can communicate telepathically with each other. 
This isn't just a dream. It's a potential reality that could be within our grasp in the not-so-distant future. It's a future brimming with possibilities, a chance to transcend our current limitations and unlock the full potential of the human species. We could become more than we ever thought possible, breaking free from the constraints that have held us back for millennia. But there's a flip side to this coin. With great power comes great responsibility, and the path to this future is fraught with potential pitfalls. As we merge with technology, do we risk losing something essential about what it means to be human? Our emotions, our creativity, our very essence, could these be compromised in the pursuit of technological perfection? Will we become slaves to our own creations, our lives dictated by algorithms and artificial intelligence? The very tools designed to enhance our lives could end up controlling them, leading us into a dystopian future where our autonomy is a thing of the past. And what about the ethical implications of creating a society where some have access to these enhancements while others are left behind? The divide between the haves and the have-nots could become even more pronounced, leading to social unrest and inequality on an unprecedented scale. We must consider not just the technological possibilities, but also the moral and ethical responsibilities that come with them. As we stand on the brink of this new era, it's crucial to engage in open, inclusive discussions about the future we want to create. We need to weigh the benefits against the risks and ensure that the advancements we pursue are in the best interest of all humanity, not just a privileged few. Visionary leaders, scientists, and ethicists must come together to shape a future that balances technological progress with the preservation of our humanity. It's a delicate balance, but one that we must strive to achieve if we are to navigate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. The future is not set in stone. It is a canvas waiting to be painted with the choices we make today. By approaching these advancements with caution, wisdom, and a deep respect for our shared humanity, we can create a future that is not only technologically advanced, but also profoundly human.